How's it going everybody? Welcome back. And here are the best VPNs for ESO if you're trying to reduce hyping and latency spikes. If you're having any connectivity issues, you can actually fix it by using a VPN. But there are a few things you need to keep in mind before doing so. So I've tested over a couple of dozen VPNs and I've narrowed it down to these three as the best overall. Uh, they all vary in budget and features. So pick and choose depending on your particular needs or situation. Now, the first thing you want to keep in mind is using the best performing protocol. So if you're using ExpressVPN, stick to the lightweight UDP protocol. Uh, you want to use the NordLynx protocol with NordVPN. And finally, the WireGuard protocol with Surfshark. So that's as far as choosing the best performing protocols. The next thing you want to do is figure out which server is closest to you, which gaming server. Now, I haven't been able to find exactly where the servers are located, but according to this form on the Elder Scrolls online website the north american mega servers are hosted in texas the european servers are located in the european data center in germany and the japanese game client is hosted on the north american mega server so still the texas one i suppose okay so what you want to do is connect to the vpn server that is closest to your gaming server okay so let's say you're somewhere in the european region um you know the closest one to me is definitely going to be the german one for me so you want to choose one of these vpns and connect to the german server right so you want to connect to the german server if it's the closest one to you or the texan server if it if that is the closest one to you right here with the dallas uh, Texas server. But let's say for the sake of the example, the closest one to you is the uh, German server. So you want to use your VPN and connect to the German VPN server. And then let's say you're on Steam. You want to go to Steam settings and set the download region to the same region because believe it or not, it does make a difference and gives you better matchmaking. So that's pretty much it. You can go ahead and try this method and let me know about your findings in the comments down below. Uh, and of course, if you guys are interested in any of these VPNs, you'll find links to pricing and discounts in the description down below, as well as full reviews. If you'd like to learn more about the privacy policy, speed streaming, torrenting capabilities, as well as security and features, you have 30 days to test out this method risk-free thanks to the 30 day money back guarantee. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.